And then hold on, the sauce. The sauce is bomb. The sauce. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to. I'm trying to boss up. That's that sauce got some kick to it. Cause you weak. You know what? The sauce is ain't even all that spicy, guys. He weak. How dare you? <laughs> Welcome to InstaChef, where we profile chefs that are creating a new tradition in the food world by using Instagram to showcase their culinary skills and get their food out to the world. I'm your host, Cliff Skywalker. I'll be joined along the way by some of my friends and celebrities, some you know, and some you're gonna wanna get to know. Let's go. We're kicking off InstaChef in Philadelphia. From the country's revolution and the Declaration of Independence to fly eagles fly and trusting the process, this city's been pivotal in the shape of America. Philly's traditional roots also extend to food, where chefs are paying homage to the past while pushing the envelopes to the future. And that's why I'm here. I'm looking to shed light on cooks and chefs not only for their food, but their personal story, utilization of social media to push their product, hopefully some words of inspiration and wisdom. Enough talk, let's roll. Now for my special guest, if you've been on the internet, you know exactly who this man is. From acting, to music, to comedy, his talents know no bounds, and his ability to connect with viewers separates him from everyone. Not to mention for both of us, our love for food is everlasting. Ladies and gentlemen, Timothy De La Ghetto. You forgot fashion writer. You're right. A uh, cuddle expert. Okay. Yeah. Yo. Cuddle expert. <laughs> Look, good to see you. Hey, Off man. top. We're in Philadelphia. It's beautiful. We got some chefs to meet. Okay. Some food to eat. I skipped breakfast just for you. That's perfect. You ready to roll with us? Let's get it. Let's go. First off, mm -hmm. let's have a conversation. Let's talk, bro. First off. Let's talk. Here's the thing, man. I got this weird theory about food, all right? Let's talk about it. All right, so I feel like if you eat parts of animals or animals that other people don't eat, it makes you a more powerful person. All right, bear with me now. Bear with me. I'm gonna go I'm into on it. On the same page. I'm gonna go into right it. Now. So when you eat an animal, like some people feel like you kind of get their like their life energy. You know what I'm saying? Like so, if everybody's eating chickens and pork and beef, but then not everybody's eating the hearts or the livers, then you are getting energy that other people aren't getting. You feel me? So everybody's getting this one type of energy, but you're getting the special energy. My personal theory. Dog, that makes that makes a lot of sense because you see certain cultures, every part of the animal gets used. Yeah, bro. Asian people eat every part of it and, and we live till we're like 300. What do you gravitate towards when you're home and you're just like, yo? Well, you know, of course, being in LA, we got the best tacos. Chorizo is my, my, my stuff, you know? Or, or some lengua. Okay. You, you, the tongue tacos. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. have with that? It, I, it's, it's an interesting texture. Yeah, I'll yeah. try anything a few times just uh -huh. so whether or not I like it, it's solidified, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, man, I'll eat anything. Anything on the plate. Okay. I get down. Speaking of that, what do you know about, there's an underground food scene that's brewing up all across the country. I don't know anything. So. There are chefs across the country. They're basically living the American dream. They're mm -hmm. going into business for themselves, taking a risk on themselves, and they're utilizing social media to promote their product, to sell their product, and to push their product into new audiences. Wow. They'll set up a page, you know, this is what we're selling for tomorrow. You DM or give them a call, they'll either deliver it to you or they'll have a pickup point. Mm -hmm. And some of the best food in this country is being made and sold through this option. Man, that's that's beautiful, right? Because I mean, it's crazy what social media and just the internet can do for you nowadays. That's kind of like how I came up on YouTube. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting auditions for roles that I wanted and my right. agent at the time wasn't doing anything for me. And I was like, you know what, let me just do this myself. I found yeah. this website, started uploading stuff and then it took off. Now, I have a chef right here who has a food truck. Okay. And she's making Philadelphia classics, but throwing her own twist in it. Okay. You down to check it out? I'm so ready. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, I got okay. it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all day. Ah, uh, man, I'm, I'll, I'll eat anything you give me right now, so I'm ready. <laughs> the Better Box Twisted Egg Rolls. The Better, oh, so you brought me to an egg roll place because I'm Asian? No, 
I'm down. I love egg rolls. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh. It smells so. Chef Tamika. Hey, hey, Hi. how are you guys? How's it going? Welcome to the Better Box. Yeah. First off, thank you so much for having us. No, can thank you, you tell for us, having Can you tell us what's on the menu? Right now, your general so chicken cheese steaks are coming up, Damn. and then you got some firecracker salmon egg rolls, Damn. and then the Philly twist egg rolls are coming, okay? Lord have mercy, I'm ready. Ooh. Chef, the smells from your food truck are incredible. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That's that sriracha aioli that we make at home. Fire. A little sesame seed garnish. Oh wait, we're each getting, we're not sharing one? It's okay, bro, I don't need to be sexy anymore. I already had the wedding, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh this my. is ready for you guys. If you want to munch on this, while I'll get your egg rolls together, okay? Yes, yes ma'am. That was beautiful. Ooh, oh. Tim. Oh my gosh. Tim. These onions, these broccoli. Oh, some broccoli in there? Tim. <laughs> you ready? You want, you want a little little toast action? Toast. Cheers. All right. Boom. Mm hmm. 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 It's so hot, but it's good, so you gotta do the hot, the chew, the chew blow. The hot, 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 hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I love broccoli. Yeah. The broccoli in here is really like. Broccoli heavy. on sandwiches. Mm. Very underrated. Right. Chef, this is a masterpiece. I'm happy you guys like it. You ready for the egg rolls? Mm hmm So the firecracker salmon, everyone always thinks the egg roll is spicy, and we always got to do a whole speech about it, but the egg roll isn't spicy. It's the sauce that we make, our firecracker sauce. It's a sweet and spicy sauce that we make by hand. So the first thing you need to do when you get your egg roll is dunk it in this, OK? okay. Give me one second. I'm going to cut these bad boys up. Chef, can you tell us a little bit about what made you gravitate towards selling egg rolls? You know, every block in Philadelphia has like a Chinese restaurant on the corner, mm -hmm. right? And they all sell cheesesteak egg rolls. So when we were little kids, we used to always buy them with like our little money that we had. And my grandmother who raised me, she was just kind of fed up with us. Cause one day when I was in front of her, I cracked it open and I took all the onions out. And she was like, you're wasting it. Like you're not gonna keep wasting your money. We're gonna make these ourselves. Now what else is in the, uh, the salmon egg roll? So there's fried onions, there's rice, and we hook it up with like our special spices. And then the, the salmon is baked in like a teriyaki glaze. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. You're getting colors. You can tell that there's textures. And it's thick. Now she said, dunk this first. Uh -huh. Can you handle it? Listen, I'm a spice junkie. Same. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, that sauce is nice. Mm. How you feeling about that, bro? You Listen, sound like you like it. The sauce, I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to I'm trying to boss up. That's that sauce got some kick to it. Cause you weak! You know what? The sauce is ain't even all that spicy, guys. He weak. How dare you? <laughs> Salmon in the egg roll. Mm -hmm. Like to me, that's a that's that's new. That's definitely new. Works perfectly. Mm -hmm. The crisp on it is, is is bomb with the rice and the salmon in there. It's a nice little uh, little mouth feel. Chef, you are on a hot streak right now. The salmon egg roll, delicious. Mm -hmm. Now you, I know you said you have one more. Thing. I got one more. Now this is another one of our top sellers. It's our Philly twist egg roll. So it's our original cheesesteak egg roll. It's way more sophisticated than any egg roll you probably had, yeah. okay? But it's still delicious and it tastes like home. Chef, so, it would be an honor like if we could try that. All right, give Please. me one second. Let me get these ready for you. I gotta uh, let me save some room. <laughs> All right, here we go. The Thank Philly you. twist. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Philly twist. Oh my, look at the, oh, Ooh. come on, man. It's look festive. At, it's colorful. This. Yeah. Looks like Christmas. It does look like Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite without the dip first. Oh yeah, let's do that. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 <laughs> wow. That is a uh, fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Wow. You all right over there? You made him go pee in the corner. It's so good. We get this reaction a lot. <laughs> you good? I'm at a point where I'm really trying to evaluate all egg rolls I've had in my life. Well, listen, that, that that's us, man. We're better. That's it. You've had it before, but when you come here, we're better. 
the name of your brand is The Better Box. The Better Box. And this is perfect. That's it. Now, Chef, once again, thank you so much. This was an amazing experience of what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. We have one more place to check out. Would you be down to go with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Good, good. We'll have somebody clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, that was amazing. Oh, thank you. In the beginning, what roadblocks did you face when it came to selling food? In Philly, there's a lot of people who start selling platters out of their house, right? We didn't want to be the egg roll people that you can go pick up out of the apartment. We didn't want to do that. The biggest roadblock was finding a commercial kitchen to rent. We built our fan base and then we were like, you know what? What's the next step? And you know, we were like, a food truck, why not? Like, you know, it's awesome, we can move around. It's a little bit more work, but it's a lot of freedom. And people loved it. Literally, we grew in a matter of, from March till July is when we opened the truck. Of this year? Yes. What? Whoa, whoa. Wow. So, could you tell us a little bit more about the social media aspect of your business? So, what, what happened was, once we like figured out like the recipes, the ideas, we cultivated everything, everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. We reached out to social media food bloggers. Literally, we followed a hashtag on Instagram that said Philly Food Bloggers. Mm -hmm. We reached out to them to say, hey, we're willing to deliver our food to you guys free of charge if you could just do an honest review. And they absolutely loved it. We got like a whole bunch of followers from this. It really helped. That's dope. At this point, Chef and Tim, wild successful right now. What keeps both of you going? I mean, we could have stayed at the kitchen and been comfortable with that. We were doing good. We had good numbers, but I don't settle. Mm -hmm. So I knew that I wanted to grow and I wanted to have freedom. And hopefully, you know, God willing, we're gonna we're gonna grow some more. We got some goals coming for next summer. Definitely. I feel like there's always so much more I can do. You know, I feel like I've, I've worked hard to, to get to this point, but I feel like I've barely even really got my foot in the door, you know? So I feel like there's way more I can do, way more I wanna do. I need to keep going. Like, I'm, I'm not satisfied yet, so. Really? Speaking of entrepreneurship, the next guy we're going to see follows the same steps that you do. Chef Ernest over at Soul Fed Philly. He started by selling seafood out of his home ended up gaining such a following that he actually has a brick and mortar location that we're going to right now. Yeah, Let's I'm do excited. it. Chef, you you know him? Well, I don't know him. I just know of him from the Philly community. And I, I heard that, you know, he's getting ready to open a spot on the West Coast. And if wow. that's not inspiration, you know, I don't know what is. Oh, that's amazing. So, that's crazy. shall we? Yep. Let's, Let's get it. Smells so good in here, Chef Ern. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Welcome with you? to Soul Fed. Thank yeah. you so nice much for inviting us. Indeed. Tim, what's up? Nice to meet you. How you doing? How you, you doing? So, Chef, what do we have on the menu today? Uh, I have three platters: my fried crab leg platters with my special butter sauce. I have a number nine on the menu, which is two ACLs, mussels, and shrimp. And I have our, our seafood fries that we just started, you know, brought to the table. So is it right. cool if uh, sure. when you have this food, you could uh, you could eat with us? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's already ready. Oh, we're gonna eat right now, right now? Let's oh. get it. Let's get it. Okay. Ooh, what? <laughs> oh, what? Wow, all these seafood fries. Damn, this looks fire. Well, you like any gloves? I mean. Man, I ain't no <laughs> <laughs> Hands in, bro. <laughs> Let's start with the seafood fries. Let's get it. Mmm, that's big ass piece of shrimp. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. That crab flavor, it's like, it's not overpowering, but it's like, it's like, yo, you eating crab. You know what I'm saying? That is bomb. And these are big old pieces of uh, shrimp. No, this is, this is shrimp. <laughs> it's not shrimp. It's Look at this. It's so fire, I'm gonna eat the shell too. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. If you eat parts of animals or animals that other people don't eat, it makes you a more powerful person. So we talked about that power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We got to go into this, uh, you said the fried crab? Yes, crack it open, you okay. gotta dip it into the butter. Normally it would be the same way as this is done. Yeah. With the crab leg, but it's fried, so we have to dip it. Thank you, sir. Hey, you that. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. 
Oh damn! What's wait, up? wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, you, you might have been. Oh. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Chef, that butter sauce is crazy. What? Actually, we was playing around when we, did, you know, actually made that. We was playing around. So that's really? Fire crab, really? I seen it. It's good, dog. Oh my gosh. So I had one of my friends try it. Cause I'm not like, I'm not a big fan of seafood. What? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Let's <laughs> take it. Let's, about this let's take a 20 second. How are you not that big a fan of seafood and you're getting flavors like this? You know, I got good friends around me that, that taste testers. Taste testers, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't eat it. Word? Yeah, I like soul food. I started with soul food. Okay, you started soul food. Yes. And it was out of your home. Those steps that you took from cooking in your home to here. Yeah. Like, true. can you talk a little bit about that? I got the name actually from my mom and my, my dad. Okay. They had a, a restaurant out Lower Marion. So I said, Mom, cook the food for me so I can sell it. So she was doing it. It was, you know, it worked. Well, I ain't had that many customers in the beginning. So then she told me I had to start making it myself, which I did. And I just got better and better, grew. And then I decided to buy body crab, the bushels, the blue claw. Mm -hmm. And then one day I posted it. And I was, I was just gonna make them for myself just to see if I can um, cook them. Yeah. I sold the whole bush without me even tasting one. I started getting customers out outside of the city, you know, from different, like all the way to West Coast is coming here. And you know, I get too big for me, so I had a staff in my house. And it just took off, so. That's dope. So it was like amazing for me. Can you talk about how community, whether it's you know, on the block or whether it's on social media, has um, affected all of your businesses? Yeah, I mean, just to go off of what we were talking about earlier, you know, I feel like one of the main reasons why, why people that are taking their career into their own hands, why we pop off is because like you have the support of, of people around you, right? And you have people that like want to see you win, you know what I'm saying? So they all they can do is just show you love and they want you to win, so collectively we all win, you know? Yeah. In my community, a lot of people want to see people who look like them do well and they become your champions. And yeah, we had a lot of haters, but we get a lot of support because people are like, dang, you know, you're a black woman, you're selling Asian food, and like, that's crazy. Like, that's what we want to see. You're taking over a market that's not really taken over by people that look like us. And I've gotten a lot of support from that end. My community, of course, is this neighbor. I'm from North Philly. I affect a lot of people on my block. I gave people jobs on my block. My community is definitely affected big because when you walk a couple blocks down, it's drama, it's, it's the extra stuff. But when you come here, for us, it's like it's hard to find a business with a bunch of young brothers. It's just brothers in here, you know, to being positive and trying to help build something bigger to a franchise, to different cities and states. I get it from here. My hustle is from my community. Hell yeah. What you just talked about, the flip from a negative to a positive. Mm -hmm. Y'all overcome those things and you have a situation like this. It's a positive outlook on this community. It's a positive outlook in this city. And it's something that needs to be talked about a little more, which is why I'm trying to bring cameras into places like this, let people know that, hey, this is the American dream. You might not be familiar with North Philly, but you should. And not only should you, <laughs> look at this. Like, how is this, like, this, this is as positive as we can be. It's worth it, at the end of the day. It's worth it. Ooh, hold on. Wait, hold on, I didn't try that. You over there talking too much, bro. I was like, this is it's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know how tender these are? <laughs> He was like, he's like, I wouldn't know. Like, yeah, yeah, and? <laughs> nah, this is delicious. Okay, so, mm -hmm. Chef, once again, this is amazing. I want to thank you so much for allowing us to just showcase what you got going on in North Philly. Before we leave, I wanted to see if it's okay. Could I get a selfie with everybody? Yeah. Of course. Let's do it. I guess. Let's break the internet. Yes. <laughs> All right, you ready? One, two. Beautiful. That's perfect. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. That's fire. His talents know no bounds, and his ability to connect with viewers. Come, come, come on, man. You gotta say it the way I wrote it, bro. Sexiest, most talented. And his ability to connect well, with viewers. Come on, bro. You gotta. He's shiny. You gotta get it. You don't get him. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Posture. Okay. Cool. Not Hold to on, mention, on, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hearing it. Something's, uh, you gotta, you gotta. No, no, trust me, trust I've been me. Doing this a long time, man. I don't know, but I have headphones. I have, I have headphones at home. I have an ear for this. I have an ear for this. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Thank y'all so much for watching Insta Chef on Thrillist. Be sure to like and share this video, and follow us. We'll see you next time. I'm trying to get some more of this shrimp.
What's good? I'm down for the prize. Come on, let's do it. Let's get it. You don't, you don't, you don't.